Hello crafty friends, it's Kelly with Kelly Lynn's Crafts. I have several things I want to share with you today. Uh, I have some hauls, I have some project shares, uh, so let's just get right into it. First off, you must go to Instagram and you must check out Christina's crafty uh, site. It's underscore KG Crafts, and I will link that down below. But also, uh, April Olander has made this as well. I didn't get a chance to purchase hers when I saw it um, posted, but I did see this one by Christina, and when I saw it, I jumped on it because I missed out when April posted hers. So, without further ado, let's take a sneaky peek. Look at this gorgeousness. She made a rosette holder. And I requested pastel rosettes. These are all made of crepe paper. I do know how to make them, and I have made some, but I am not nearly as good as some of these other crafty ladies, so I like to purchase from them as well. Now, I think this is just fabulous. It's a little shaker pocket here. You can see more on her page. And I'm sure if you requested one, she would make one for you. She'd probably do um, personal requests for styles and papers and whatnot. I don't know. You can just check with her. But I just took the one that she posted. And I'm pulling out a few goodies in this middle drawer. Um, let me turn this around. It's got her um, handmade sticker. And I'll that up close for you. I hope that's in focus. But I just love it. It's beautiful. And yes, I'm going to use those rosettes, but it will be hard because it's such a pretty display. She also sent me some goodies. These cute little tassels in mint and pink and some mint and pink bows. Ribbon bows. Thank you for those, Christina. Okay. Next up, I went to Dollar Tree and I picked up some of this sparkle mesh. And I picked up this little bag that had some lip gloss in it. I'm not really interested in the lip gloss. I'm interested in this little bag because I thought, well, I could take this lip gloss out and do something with this bag with sequins make a shaker i picked up some of these butterfly die cuts that i've seen a lot of people haul they're beautiful they did have some orange colors but they look very much like fall so i just went with the pinks they're very pretty and i picked up this little bag from dollar tree it's not very pretty, but I plan on making it pretty and putting goodies in it for one of my pen pals. Next up, I stopped by CVS, and they had all of these bows for $1. They're clip-ons, but I like when I find things like this at the dollar stores or for cheap. I like to pick them up and use them for bag toppers. So... They're very stiff and glittery. I've got four of those. Oh, I wanted to show you this cute little swan. I picked that up at Christmas time at Walmart. I just wanted to show that. I think it's adorable. And I love the Maggie Home Swan. And I've collected a few for my crafty area. And I just wanted to show that one. It's my newest one. Okay, then I went to Hobby Lobby and I got some of this 
mesh tool with metallic that I've seen several people haul and share with their crafty friends. And so I wanted some of that to try out. It was 50% off as were these other trims. This glittery light pinkish kind of peach. I thought it was really pretty and I don't have anything like that. And then I got some of the pink leaf trim. I have silver, green, and gold, but I didn't have any pink. And then I picked up one of these white decorative trims. All these were 50% off. This was on clearance. Some little gold large safety pins I thought would make some cute little dangles to hang off of things. I picked up some of these really cute fuzzy ball charms. They were on sale for 50% off, as were these little flower charms. And then these charms were on clearance, so I picked those up. Now, if you don't get to Hobby Lobby or if you missed out on some of their um, clearance items, be sure and check out Little Donna's D-Stash page on Instagram. She sells a lot of Hobby Lobby goodies. And my Hobby Lobby is about 30 miles, so I don't get there very often. So I do purchase quite a bit from her. Next up, I want to share some projects. Oh, Wait a minute before I do. Um, I forgot something I got at Hobby Lobby. I've been picking these up at my local Aldi grocery store. Somebody on Instagram shared that Aldi had these drawers and they were pretty inexpensive. So I picked up a couple from Aldi. And while I was at Hobby Lobby yesterday, I found this one in the sewing department. It's a three drawer thing. It's a little bit different in that it has three compartments. But I used my 40% off coupon for this and this was in the sewing department. But I went ahead and picked it up to add to my collection of these acrylic drawers that I'm finding. And, oh, I, I have a couple other things I left out of my Hobby Lobby haul. Um, I picked up two of these sticker packs for 74 cents. And I picked up these for 74 cents. These were fa found in the planner section, as were these. These are faith journaling stickers. They're regularly $10.99, and they were $2.74. And you get quite a few. So I was happy to find this for my Bible journaling. Now, I think that's everything from Hobby Lobby. And um, now I'll get back to my project share and get this stuff out of my way. So, so far, I have used my drawers to house my embellishments that I'm making for my pen pals. And I won't take a lot of time because um, I have a lot to share. And, you know, everybody makes these type of embellishments, but these are, a lot of them are using the um, crepe paper. Um, my mind just went blank. Rosettes. These are glittered, and this one's chunky and glittered. Let me give a shout out to April Olander and uh, her little shop on Instagram. She made all of these that I ordered from her. And so I've started to use them. So at some point, Maybe I can get her to make me a little holder like Christina made to put these smaller ones in. But both of these ladies do a great job on these crepe paper rosettes and I just love them. 
So I'm gonna give a shout out to them for their crafty goodies. And then this little tag I made as inspiration from uh, Serenity Creations. She has an older video where she showed making tags with trims. And so I did that and then put the die cut on top. Thought that turned out really well. This little envelope was gifted to me by another crafty friend. And I just changed it up a bit to make it my own. And then, of course, you know, you got to make bows. And these are some of my bows. I haven't put a center in this one yet. But I've got a lot more of these to make. <coughs> Still coughing. I've gotten a lot of new die cuts lately. Got some new butterfly ones and leaves. So I used some of those. And I like how this one turned out. I put some heart, little teeny sequins in the middle of that one for the body. And um, I used some of my flowers that I've been gifted from other crafty friends. Uh, Love Pink Dragonflies and Miss Evelyn gifted me some. So, it feels good to finally get around to utilizing my supplies and adding things that other crafters have gifted me. I got these little house dies recently and this little mason jar. And this one has a little heart. And then this one's double layered with a little butterfly. I had a lot of fun making these. And then I made some of these giant clips. This is one of Miss Evali. She said pronounce it Evali. That's hard for me because I started pronouncing it wrong from the start. But anyway, <clears throat> she gifted me a lot of her rosette flowers. So I used I used her rosette flowers on these. These are really fun to make, these giant paper clip embellishments. Plan on making more of these as well. Okay, next up, I'm gonna move this so I don't knock it over, is I altered this little journal book and I found this at the Dollar Tree. Um, let me just let it sit right there. You can take a good look at it. And I'm going to get one, which I meant to do <clears throat> before I started filming. This is only a dollar at Dollar General. The, the one that I altered was darker, but same thing. And I wanted to do like a shabby chic vintage style with the Maggie Holmes look. So I used a lot of the flowers that have been gifted to me. And inside the little planner, I made some pockets out of some lace trim. It has a little pocket to put your things. And then these come with it, the little to-do sheets and the little dividers and then the little daily sheets. And then I picked up this little pen holder and I made another little pocket here. So I'll complete this with goodies. And then last but not least, I made this little house. It's one of the Dollar Tree houses. And I painted it and put the trim around it, around the edges. And this little fence came from Hobby Lobby. 
And then I just popped the houses up. I thought it turned out super cute. So those are my project shares. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye for now.